Days kept drifting into days, but things began to change after this. Up until now, I was kept prisoner, but not guarded or anything like that. They didn't even tell me what to do outside of keeping the dogs. I guess they saw I was disoriented and not likely to escape. But now they started paying a little more attention to me, almost keeping an eye on me. So later, Lester met me coming out of the woods and told me Eddie wanted to see me. This may seem a little more incoherent in reproduction than it was at the time. I may have mixed up some of the stuff, different things he was trying to say. He had those steel gray eyes fixed on me, and I could see his mind was going a mile a minute. Probably in some sexual direction because of the smile on his face. By the way, time keeping my eyes off the two girls. Suze and Brett. Off the two girls. Suze and Brett. <laughs> I kept thinking what they looked like the last time I saw them. I got to know Suze a little better when Lester was driving us out in the panel truck during the evacuation. That was after Eddie started messing around with some local girls and every male in the territory got deputized. That's what Lester said anyway, when he was driving us out. He came and got me after dark one night and loaded me in the back of the van with Sue's and a couple of other kids. We drove for about 40 miles with our lights up. Maybe it was just their way of breaking camp. All I know for sure is, I walked into a pisser when Lester stopped for gas outside of some mill town by a lake and just kept walking. Then I was back on my own terms. You in the football, Jack? A lot of people don't realize how good it is to know that. Jack! The capacity for simplification. Anyway, to work within those limitations of space, Jack, the time to play for two hours on a hot field, maybe after trip, Jack. To have that simple fate, the organized moment. No, you understand that I couldn't blow you away anytime I want to, right, Jack? <laughs> so you could do things like that, but I usually don't. It scares people, and they might get the wrong idea. By the way, Jack, I wanted to tell you, you're Marilyn's house boy. Get it, get it. You know, Jack, maybe the answer is spiritual. Yeah. It's becoming more and more obvious to me every day. Why do you keep yourself so distant, Jack? I'm afraid I'll fall in love with you if I come too close. Me too. At first we were distant from one another, but after a while we got closer. 
I started to do some chores around the house, fix hinges and things like that. Just the normal stuff any man does around the house, but she thought it was pretty fantastic. So we made an arrangement where I'd sleep in her bed at night and do things for her around the house during the day. This lasted until I left. Check. Okay. 